back to the channel, I'm Thomas and today you join me with the 2022 BMW M5 competition. So stay tuned for this video. So here is the 2022 LCI BMW M5 competition. You may note it is the LCI with the upgraded new daytime run light design. Gone with the halos and we're with this kind of L shape. Down in the bumper at the front we've got a new mesh grille pattern. And as you can see, this particular one has got the kind of shadow chrome blacked out kidney grills and the blacked out chrome around the doors. So this M5 is running on Michelin Pilot Sport 20 inch alloy wheels. With I quite like the two tone design on the alloy wheels with the red brake calipers. Pretty aggressive and pretty good looking. The M5 competition also gets a little note on the fender, as you can see there. And it wouldn't be complete without the BMW M wing mirrors. Special thanks to Sam for allowing me to film his M5, so go check him out on Instagram, give him some love. As we move around to the rear of the M5, you can see we've got the balance of the 5 Series body with the M performance hints. So we've got the quad exhaust at the back, also got the M5 badging up top, and it really is, especially in the grey, quite a sleeper. I do believe it's called Sophisto Grey. It could be wrong, comment below if you know, but it's quite a nice subtle colour. So being based on the 5 Series, the F90 is a very practical vehicle, very large boot, that is family friendly. We also have rear seats that can be pulled down at a touch of a lever pull that and it unhinges it on the inside. One touch, boot close. So go ahead and jump inside the M5. Upon entering you're greeted with this lovely two-tone interior, the kind of, I call it the penguin tuxedo with the white and the black. The key itself has got also the M colours on the side and we've got kind of a silver finish on the buttons. You may also note we've got a red start stop switch as well which is pretty cool and there's even little kind of red accents on the gear selector and around the M mode and setup. And you may note as well you've got some M badging on the inside of the car again with the colour on the steering wheel that matches what's on the seat belt and we've also got M5 specific carpets. That's pretty cool. Got a digital instrument display in front not too dissimilar to what you may be seeing in other BMW videos, but I will start the car up and give you a little look. And with the windows down, you can kind of hear that exhaust note. So you will notice when you're starting the car up, this little bar doesn't let you fully rev until the engine's heated up, so just to protect the engine. So that will slowly move its way up towards the number seven. So now the car's on, I can show you. Put it M1 and you can jump to M2 at a touch of a button. See if you're configuring it through the iDrive system here. It's also worth noting this particular car has got the heads up display, which I've also used in other BMWs, which can show you your sat nav, your radio, and all that good stuff as well. Everything inside the M5 is high quality material throughout the cabin. As you can see, we've got the white with the stitching, nice leather topped dash, and we've also got this kind of aluminium effect going across the dash. Quite a light cabin. I quite like it over the black and black that you sometimes see on BMW models. You can kind of denote it's an M5 versus a standard maybe 520D because we've got the M1 and M2 badges on the steering wheel. These can be pre set up. So when you're out in the road, you could maybe have M1 for a more comfortable kind of setup, and then M2 could be everything could be race, everything's in hands that you're steering, your suspension, etc. So down in the centre console here, we do have a tray that slides back. We've got wireless phone charging, along with two cup holders, which have got little grips for various size of beverage, and we've also got a little charger there. Look, we used to call them cigarette lighters, but more likely for a charger and a USB charger down there as well. So up here we've got the iDrive system that they've brought forward so you can now use it as a touchscreen for your, like, your radio, 
your media, your sat nav, everything at your fingertips. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is worth noting. And it can also be controlled through this rotary knob here, which I quite like because it saves fingerprints. And when you're out in the road, you can touch it without having to take your eyes off the road because you get quite intuitive and used to where things are logically on this. And you can also write on top of this keypad as well. Down below, we've got the climate control vent that has been updated. It's no longer kind of that orange hue with the kind of bars you may have seen in the previous BMW uh, model. We do have almost like an LCD panel there. We also have my favourite part of BMWs as you run your finger across, and these can be pre assigned for phone calls, uh, sorry, phone contacts or postal addresses and bits of interest on the phone. I typically have sorry, number seven saved whenever I've been up here. It's home just when you're coming home from work or wherever you are, you can quickly get home and any other radio stations could be maybe one, two, three, whatever it may be. Gear selector, nice and easy to use. Left to drive, all the way up and left for reverse. You've got the cameras on show there. And then P for park. The camera quality itself is very good and very clear. And even like the graphic that BMW gave you up here, so you can see where the doors are going to open. It wouldn't be a Cars of Glasgow video without a glove box reveal. Softly damped and lined with the fuzzy stuff. And a reaffirming click. I'm 5 foot 11 and plenty of headroom as well. Uh, this has got the carbon fibre roof, so you don't get a sunroof. But it's plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder room, plenty of room for two up front. And a lot of adjustment, these seats are full electric as well as the steering column as well. And I believe this colour is called Silverstone uh, Merino Leather, which is a nice kind of soft plush variant of BMW's material that they use for the seating. They kind of keep this for higher end BMWs and it's just really soft and grainy, really quite like it. Now we do also have the M5 badges that light up, you might have seen that on the previous maybe M4 competition video done last year. And all in all a really nice vehicle, we do have a split rear, uh, sorry we do have a split centre console here so you could maybe have one down and one open if you wanted to get your phone out and what other bits and bobs. Jump into the back of the M5. I'm 5 foot 11, got plenty of knee room, plenty of headroom, and just all round decent size space in the back of the car. I think it's going to be enough for probably two adults, maybe three kids, just because of the size of the vehicle. The car is lined in this lovely Alcantara material. You've got the Germanic FUD, and the quality of the material door card is the same high quality that you get in the front. Nice soft touch materials all round, and we've even got a little bit of mid lighting in here. The M colour braiding on the seat belts is a nice touch as well, the kind of blues and the red. Even got, even have a family friendly cup holder for the school run juice. And not everybody knows this, but in a BMW you can push this to get the headrest up. And if you push this button in again, you can fold it flat to give you more visibility in the rear mirror. In the back you are welcomed to some climate control and some charging ports. And there is more climate on the left hand side as well for ventilation and even a little hook up here to hang your jacket and things like that. It is worth noting this car is fitted with the Harman Kardon sound system so we do have that speaker in the back of the door as well. Under the bonnet we have a 4.4 litre twin turbocharged V8 pumping out 625 brake horsepower, 750 newton metres of torque and that gets the car from 0 to 60 in a claimed 3.3 seconds while achieving just about 25 miles to a gallon, 254 grams per kilometre of CO2 and putting a smile on your face every second. So out on the road you're greeted with one of the finest driving experiences BMW has to offer. You put the foot down, the ZF gearbox gives all the power to all four wheels. Did I mention it's a handsome car and quite possibly peak BMW? It's subtle enough out on the road, and the steering is light and direct. The seats are massaging and cosseting away from the vibrations of the road. And compared to that 320i I recently drove, if that's a 5, this BMW is surely a 10 out of 10. Did I mention it's handsome? So, in conclusion, the latest BMW M5 competition is, with one word, fantastic. It has real vents, real exhausts, great subtle aesthetics, 
3D taillights, it's practical with a premium cabin, a host of technology and a family friendly package. Well, what's not to like? Well, perhaps the price. Did I mention it's handsome? 